What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Roby Tech in general. We are here today building an absolute, you know, for lack of a better term, banger of a build. All but the GPU will be completely blacked out. So it's, it's I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I turned up the lights a little bit brighter so you guys can see a little bit better. So there's one thing here. There's not gonna be any gameplay benchmarks today. Main reason being is that this is gonna be a build. You'll see it, it'll look just the way it's supposed to when it's done. But unfortunately, the 4090 overclock from Strix is coming on the 16th. So we're gonna put a 4080 in there, which isn't the, the correct uh, GPU. But if we do a build release, we'll actually show you some uh, some overall benchmarks and stuff like that. We will do thermals because this is a this is a all about performance PC. Uh, and then we'll, uh, you, but it'll look the way it's supposed to at the very end. But we're just gonna show thermals and no gameplay benchmarks today. Let's talk about what we're doing in today's build. Here it is right here, guys. This is the parts list for today's build. It's a Ryzen 9 7950X. Unfortunately, he did not want, I did actually ask him if he wanted a 7900 XDX to save some money, he said no. Uh, Asus ProArt X670E Creator Wi-Fi. Uh, graphics card, we have the Asus RG Strix NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 Overclock is what is actually gonna be in there. We have six terabytes of storage from WD Black, the SN850X, a go-to. Uh, no RGB RAM, G-Skill Flare X, 5, 32 gigs of DDR5 at 6,000 mega transfer. For the case, we got the Lian Lee 011 Dynamic Evo XL in black. For the cooler, the EK Nucleus AIO CR360 Dark uh, is what we're gonna be using there. And then for the power supply, the brand new, this is a new, I'm actually very excited to open this up, the Asus RG Strix Aura Edition 1000 Watt. It's their first uh, PCIe 3 uh, PSU. Okay, let's start building, guys, this rig that will be no RGB, except for it'll have like a white light here and then the white on the uh, GPU as well. That's, that's all we'll have. Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, RAM, 93, ooh. Okay, here we go, guys. Three additional NVMe slots on this bad boy, too. It's that time, guys. Click time, we're going for 90, 93, right? 93.7. Ninety-two, so ninety-three point seven. Like only within, like we we did get it, only on one stick. It was not loud. Here we go, guys. It's that time. All tightened down. That is what we have thus far. The rest of it we'll do later on. Everything is in. There's the mobo, all blacked out, ready to go. Everything is prepped. Let's go ahead and get our case up. Time to start getting this taken care of, getting this case down to where it needs to be. I've got the lights up a little bit more, guys, so you guys will be able to see it a little bit better. And we will not be removing the middle panel for today, but if he wants to remove it when he gets it in, because we have to ship this. Now, we shouldn't actually, usually you guys will notice, like when I do these builds, I'll do a lot of like removing the, the drive trays and stuff like that. I don't expect that to be that big of an issue for this one because honestly, there's there's not gonna be a lot of cable management that I have to worry about uh, for this. So I, I think it'll be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and just take some time to get our fans in first. Okay, so here's all of our fans. These ones we're gonna be putting 140 millimeters on. So these are NFA14s. Okay guys, there is our fans all installed. Okay, we will run these through the grommets. That's something that's actually really nice about the XL. There we go. Because they have the grommets like strategically placed, which is nice. Okay, first set of fans in. Okay, these are gonna go right here. There we go, okay. Guys, all of our fans are in, except for we're gonna put in our rear fan real quick and that'll be the last fan for now. And then we'll get to our, putting our motherboard and all that stuff in. Okay, so here's our A12. Okay, we should have plenty of room to put this just right in the center. There we go. Okay guys, all the fans are in. Okay, let's get our MOBO in and all that stuff. There is that creator motherboard. 
The brown actually kind of brings out the little bit of the, the gold that's in here. Okay, let's get our front panels in. Front panel connectors. Ugh. Single front panel connector. It's gonna go right there. Okay, so there's all of our connections. Guys, we're gonna do a little bit of cable management work just to get this cleaned up. Okay, guys, there's all of our cables. We'll zip tie this one down once we get it kind of hooked up. And then we have one PSU cable. Okay, there is all of our cables. And then this, remember the GPU is gonna come across here. So that'll actually cover these two. These two should be completely covered. So all you'll see is the USB-C. You won't even see the USB-3. Let's get our AIO ready. Now for real, we're gonna put it together. Let's get this up onto the, into the case. Okay, let's get our AIO mounted here. All right, let's get the last little cables hooked up, get our AIO finished, like wired in. All of our fans look nice, there we go. Okay, well guys, we're gonna get our cable extensions in, put in our GPU and then PSU and then that's it, there's not much. Hey guys, extensions are in. GPU, PSU, and we're done. Now, like I said, this is a 4080 that we're putting in for today. The 4090 overclock will come in there. We did not add the sag bracket, we will. We got one cable left. Okay guys, now we just got PSU and then we're done. Okay, let's get this. I'm actually excited to see, I'm guessing the cables in this, this PSU are gonna be awesome. There we go. Okay. Okay, cool. Nice looking PSU, I'll be honest. Okay, let's get these hooked up. Should be pretty straightforward and we're gonna make them look good at the same time. Okay guys, and then all we gotta do is, that's it, build's done. Looks clean, right? The crazy thing is, is it'll be hard for you guys to see much of anything because the build is gonna be so dark. Okay, just get our parts back on here. There will be some white light inside because of the GPU. There we go. There is our Lee and Lee blacked out build. All right, here we go, guys. You ready? It's gonna be, it's not gonna light up a lot. So we're gonna turn this on and then three, two, oh wow, that's okay, so there you go. And it is on. That's all there is to it. There's all, that's the only light is the, uh, is the, the only light we have is, is just the GPU. That's it. <laughs> that's all there is. Okay, there it is guys. It is posted and it is ready for the next part. Okay, here we go guys. This is worst case scenario, not gaming. This is just worst case showing you what the temps are gonna be like here on the 7950X. 
So even if you see again, you're like, it looks, it's not. It's doing, it, it, you're basically gonna see higher Cinebench scores when you do this. Here we go, multi-core CPU. Got to 91, so it's definitely warming up a bit. Staying in the low 90s, it'll sometimes pop up, but again, the core tip, that, the thing is, is this, this build is essentially given the 59, the 7950X, like all the room it could possibly want just to do what it can do. Okay guys, so it basically, it topped out at 94.1. We have about a minute and one minute and 42 seconds left. Getting this last, looks like it's gonna be about two, right around 2000 points. Dropped about, dropped a little bit over the, uh, the course of the whole thing. I think we were at the highest, we saw 2160. Uh, now it's dropping down to around uh, 2000 ish. But here we go, last render and finally ending at 1954, guys, there it is right there. So again, we saw it, again, just understanding these CPUs, they like to kind of push it to as warm as they potentially can. This cooler did a great job, plus there's plenty of airflow in here, uh, and the build came out absolutely awesome. So cooling good, um, you know, performance is gonna be awesome, and then lack of RGB, at least you got a little bit of lights there um, to get some, uh, some additional performance. But that is our uh, 4500 Lee and Lee, 01 Dynamic Evo XL build right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Congratulations to the uh, commission owner, uh, David Jr. for winning, uh, for having this PC. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great rest of your weekend, and we will see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys.